Darren, I want to bring you in. You, you have a philosophy that no hire is better than a bad one. Please explain what you mean by that. That's right. Um, it's a job fit. I think Simon said it earlier, there's a quit rate. Um, my assertion is that probably one of the most important tasks that we do as employers is hire. And we don't treat it as such. I believe Kirby Smart and Nick Saban, sorry for the Gamecockers, I don't know your coach, but... Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, Saban and Smart meet it, beat us, beat the other opposition by recruiting. They're not superior coaches on the sideline on Saturday. They beat you on who they bring to their team. If you think about what they probably do, they probably watch 10 high school films. They probably have scouts that go to this go to the uh, games. They probably have all the data of how fast the individual is probably talk to the coach, probably talk to the neighbors, high school coach, they know that person. And even then when they come, they don't always get it right, but they're certainly trying to maximize their chances. I don't necessarily see that all the time in business, that folks take the time like Saban and Smart do to go recruit their team. And then we end up with results that we're frustrated with. Somebody quits. And I say that, I guess, this morning from an employer perspective, but I'm also, I guess, representing the employee. It's a job fit. And we don't take the time to take this very important task and make sure that we maximize our chances of getting the right person on our team. And uh, I think we suffer the consequences. So the no hire better than a bad hire is certainly when you bring somebody wrong in, they're gonna be one of those data points that Simon talks about, they're gonna quit on you. And I do think we also, I bring this up too in my tab boards is because I think we're desperate a little bit when it comes to the labor. We're, we're willing to take a risk and we're willing, and frankly, more often than not, that risk doesn't pan out. And we're back to the drawing board three, six, nine months later, starting all over again. And it can be very depressing for the, the entire team the uh, hiring manager can certainly get disgruntled. And so I think we really could learn a little bit about taking the time to take on a very important task and doing it right. And again, it doesn't guarantee, but I certainly think it's worth the effort because you're bringing in a lot of um, either great asset to your company or ultimately a liability potentially.